professor, physician, epidemiologist. I am Dr. Sri Banerjee. Hello everyone, I'm Dr. Sri Banerjee, core faculty for the College of Health Sciences and Public Policy at Walden University. And in this segment, what I'm going to go over um, is a map, a geospatial map that provides um, some uh, understanding and some information about the economic um, ongoings uh, in the local area. Uh, so this is divided up by county. Um, darker blue means uh, people earning within the county a lot more than the surrounding counties and and the United States as you can see the dark blue uh, here is in Colorado and within this area people usually earn eight hundred thousand dollars that is very much a disparity that uh, an uneven uh, distribution of income which is something uh, we want to minimize uh, Washington state has a uh, area that uh, people make seven hundred seventy-one thousand uh, dollars as their median net net income. Then California, I believe this is Silicon Valley. There's some that are making one point two million dollars. Uh, in fact, within the whole county, uh, many are making that. Uh, and then, if we go over to the east, uh, east coast, all up the coast, there are areas where people are. Uh, making quite a bit, 371,000 uh, down in South Carolina, uh, and then 284,000 down in uh, Southern South Carolina, and then Georgia, and North Georgia, there's some places people are making $420,000. Uh, and so there's areas, pockets where people are quite rich. Um, so as you can see, there is a fair distribution, and then uh, some of the neighboring countries neighboring counties um, have lower uh, median net income. For instance, Fort Bend County has uh, people making $301,000. And then you can go over to a na neighboring country, Houston City, uh, where and then uh, there people are making $30,000. So there's a disparity just if you go a county over, you have a huge disparity. So uh, over here, also in uh, the Chicago area, um, uh, in Illinois, that's an um, interesting area for uh, disparities. So there's a um, that's one way to use this. Um, there's other ways to um, look at the map, uh, and there's a distribution of student loan holders with del delinquent student loan debt, uh, which is information that is not available anywhere that I know of. Uh, Low-income households with housing cost burden. Uh, again, this is something, uh, housing insecurity, these are something that is not available um, in other data sets. Um, households with at least $200, $2,000 in uh, emergency savings. Um, and as you can see here, 93% um, uh, households, so very few in some places have enough uh, to, uh, as as a buffer, as a cushion um, for income or um, towards going towards emergency um, savings. Uh, very few people in some areas. Uh, Alabama has a very few places. Um, some of the places it's seventy three percent, which is a higher number than usual. Median credit score is another interesting um, sort of map, geospatial distribution. Um, as you can see that, again, there's some pockets where people have higher credit scores. Um, but for the most part, uh, people have much lower credit scores uh, in uh, some of the rural areas, like uh, 675 median credit score, which is not bad. Uh, 671, again, not bad. 728 is fairly good median uh, credit score. Let's look at some of the lower uh, median credit score. 682 is still a uh, fair. Um, now 671 is getting to 
uh, become much lower. 665, 669, 640. And then uh, 650, 651 is another group of uh, credit scores. So mostly um, around the country, there's uh, 600s to 700 is median credit score. Again, foreclosure, you can see um, how many foreclosures, a percentage. Uh, and this is the higher number, the worse. Um, so this is the percentage. And then residents with health insurance coverage, which is actually covered in some of the other data sets that I'm aware of. Um, so this is um, all of the different maps or types of maps uh, that are available. Um, additionally, uh, you can find some financial health uh, metrics. I know there was a lot of talk about economic resilience. Um, this illustrates the resident savings assets and access to credit, which can help families, uh, whether economic shocks such as job loss or health emergency take place. Um, another good measure is upward mobility, um, which means that household wealth, which allows residents to pursue opportunities for upward mobility, such as higher education or entrepreneurship. And then daily finances, which are signs of financial distress, or illustrate residents' uh, financial burdens, which can make it hard for households to manage their uh, daily finances. So there, this is uh, showing about the data um, where it has been um, calculated from, for instance, major cre credit bureaus were consulted for the um, credit scores within each county. And uh, there are actually, this is um, 41,000 zip codes um, and 200 zip codes are not linked to Pumas in the dashboard. Here's the project credit. So I hope this has provided you with enough information to understand the geospatial distribution of uh, financial difficulties um, in the context of various measures. Thank you for listening.